Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless this is your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. Once you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. Um, really excited for today's unboxing video. It's the third one I've done from this company. Big fan of theirs. Uh, it's first sip, first sip. And, um, you know, uh, if you haven't watched the other videos, just real quick, uh, they're based out, based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and they do um, uh, monthly uh, boxes of things that relate to beer. So, uh, uh, brewery t-shirts, glasses, food that's maybe made with beer or, pair, you know, pairs really well with beer. Um, you know, they, they've also, they, they um, uh, have partnered up and done like bigger things. It's uh, veteran owned, for example, and they, they'll like, you know, work with veteran organizations and things like that. So big fan of them and big fan of what they represent. So very excited to get into this. I um, actually don't know the brewery or anything that this month that they're working with. I don't know anything that's in this. Um, uh, Based on there too, there'll be a glass and a t-shirt. Um, but other than that, it's like what kind of food or whatever's in there. It's a relatively heavy box. I don't know if it's any heavier than the other two, but it like does seem kind of heavy to me. Um, I think I should probably do it. Yeah, we'll do it this way. There we go. Typical, and again, that, if you haven't watched my other ones, their branding is so on point. You know, you open up, cheers. Handwritten, you know, a little note to you. Thank you for your purchase of First Sip Brew Box. Um, hey, Kyle, we hope you enjoy this month's box. Thank you for all the support. Um, smiley face, we'd also like you to enjoy this. Ooh, barbecue sauce that just launched. Cheers. So I think there's some barbecue sauce in there. Guess who's a big fan of barbecue sauce? This guy. Um, the uh, mustard that was in the last box, holy crap, was it good. Or, well, I haven't finished yet, so it's still good, but really good. Um, all right, what's this? A new way to homebrew with coffee, Honey and Roses Coffee. I am a big coffee guy. 20% off uh, coupon. Very cool. Brew will be a must-see. Ah, yes. Okay, so I've gotten this before. So um, they're opening a, a brew museum down there. And uh, so this is a little bit of an advertisement, and then it's got a little bit of, um, you know, something interesting to kind of bring you into it. So a beer factoid. Uh, the 21st Amendment was ratified December 5th, 1933, ending prohibition. Because of, because of its relative bulk, bootleggers were less interested in moving beer than hard liquor. However, it was still legal to sell beer ingredients for unspecified use at home. Beer lovers got the message on the label noting, warning, combining with yeast may result in fermentation. Uh, I am a social science teacher, and this is, you know, prohibition is one of the things I teach, so I actually did know that. Um, so points for me uh brew the beauty museum okay so two quotes prohibition makes you want to cry into your beer and denies you the beer to cry into don marquise uh once during prohibition i was forced to live for days on nothing but food and water wc fields it's a good quote uh, again good packaging it's, it's always wrapped in this yellow six to their color scheme which is nice they use one of their stickers to close it so again just from a a, a business point of view uh, uh, fantastic packaging. Um, they have a good online social media presence, all that kind of stuff. Top notch. Uh, I'm such a big fan of what they're doing. And, uh, and I've said this before in the first one that I'm really mad I didn't come up with this idea myself. All right. So we got a couple things in here. All right. First things for, ah, it makes sense given the, the, um, uh, advertisement, honey and roses, coffee beans. And I'm a huge coffee fan, huge. And I actually do have uh, a lot of regular beans and I um, ground them up right before I actually brew. So yeah, I'm a huge style. Actually today is Black Friday, if I didn't mention that. Just bought my Bourbon County stuff and uh, you know, love that roasty coffee stuff and definitely love roasty cof or coffee stouts and love my roast coffee. You can tell with me uh, tripping up on my words that I have had some Bourbon County today already. All right, let's get into the glass. Oh, I think this is just one of their glasses, which I do not have. Yes, very cool. Uh, and I don't know how well it'll come across on camera, but yeah, it's one of the first sip, uh, one of their actual pint glasses, uh, dog drinking buddies. Right now, my boy Bruno, my wife just uh, brought down uh, one of his three beds, although he sleeps in our beds, so technically he has four beds. Uh, brought down one of his beds, and he's just on the other side of the camera, sleeping on the floor. So very cool, very cool. And uh, they're... they're um, Graphics, again, their marketing is top notch. Ah, some chapstick. Stout chapstick, very cool. It's a cacao coffee malt chapstick. 
cocoa butter, coconut oil, beeswax, avocado oil, apricot, kernel oil, and essential oils, plus the coffee stuff. I said this in the first video. I remember if I said the second one where I uh, did an unboxing. Like, I love stuff like this. And, like, you know, it's a good Christmas or birthday if people give me stuff like this. Like, it's just totally up my alley. So, yeah, love that. All right, what we got here? Oh, this must be the barbecue sauce. Yeah, big barbecue fan. I have a smoker and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, definitely a fan of, of things like this. Oh, this is bubble wrap. Wolf my dog up. Vanta B starting something. Tomato, mayo, mustard, barbecue sauce. Vanta Black Darkness made with Pen Dark Lager. All right. I'm all in on that. <laughs> I have to figure out uh, what I want, how I want to do this. You know, in the oven or a smoker or something. Ah, I really like this. No high fructose corn syrup. No preservatives. No MSG. Um, I could care less about it being gluten-free, but product out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So this is local to them. Very cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I'm a big fan of, of what that sounds like. Right, so we got our Burgers Brewery Beer and Beef. Great name. I'm assuming it's a Pittsburgh, so burgers. But fantastic name in terms of doing burgers like beef and uh, beers. Number one. Ah, Couch Brewery. They do a lot. I, I see them on their social media. They do a lot with Couch Brewery. Um, I think actually um, they like spoken at events there even. So that's really cool. Their business card, again, good branding. They know what they're doing from a business point of view. Um, you know, check them out. Oh, I didn't say this. I've said it in the other ones. Um, I'm just a fan. I, I, I This is not sponsored. I, I pay full price for this. I don't get these sent to me. So, um, you know, me saying that I like this this company and these people is, is genuine because I'm not getting a dime from them. Um, beer koozie, all who wander are looking for beer. <laughs> That's got like that. Yeah. Instead of all who are wandering are not lost. And a cool <laughs> like buffalo <laughs> with a hot, with hop wings. Are these like uh, buffalo wings? You know, being a guy who went to college in Buffalo, uh, maybe I'm just looking too much into that as buffalo wings. But a very cool sticker. And yes, oops. We do. Put this over here. Have a sh Ah, very cool. So I did see this online. I didn't know if this was coming in this box or not. So they did do, um, uh, again, they're veteran owned and they, they um, you know, are active in that community, which I think is fantastic. Um, and you can see that aisle case makes sense on the back. The two breweries that we got stickers from. Um, you know, they have worked with, uh, uh, to do this and, um, you know, I definitely support the veterans and, and I think it's probably pretty obvious, um, uh, just from the fact that I've mentioned veterans a few times, um, on a side note, uh, a podcast I've really been enjoying lately. My friend told me about it. Uh, angry Americans. Uh, he's a veteran. He speaks up about veteran affairs. He's an independent. I try to, I, I never talk politics on this channel. Um, but, um, he's an independent, um, he's probably left leaning, but he's an independent. He talks a lot about veterans issues, which I really appreciate. And I'm not a veteran myself, but I, I know plenty of people who uh, have served and, um, um, you know, definitely, uh, think that we need to treat veterans better than we have been. You know, we, we send them off to do their job. And then sometimes I feel like when they come back, um, we don't take care of them as a nation as much as we should. Again, I never talk politics, but uh, since this is uh, veteran themed, I will speak up a little bit about that. Um, uh, and, I, and I do think it's bad and that we need to do a lot better by them. So uh, um, one of the reasons I was so excited to support these guys, I saw them at Fresh Fest. Uh, I, I believe in diversity and things like that. Um, so when I, when I saw that, um, you know, it is a woman owned and person of color owned company um, and then veteran owned as well. Mike, and, and as they say, checks a lot of boxes. But I was like, yes, this is definitely the kind of company I want to at least at the very least check out. Obviously, I've been impressed since I continue to subscribe to them. But um, yeah, that, that's really awesome. So yeah. Awesome box, really, really excited to uh, have the coffee. Uh, actually, I'm almost finished up the, my current bag of coffee, so it's perfect timing. Uh, some cool swag, definitely always appreciate food in these. Uh, so yeah, good job uh, uh, curating this box, everyone. Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't say everyone, I know the two people who do it. Uh, but yeah, um, check them out for sure. Uh, no promo codes, nothing like that, again, because I pay for this because I'm a happy customer. Um, so yeah, check them out, first sip for sure. Uh, check me out, Instagram on tap, it's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So just please like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, support local businesses on Black Friday. What a perfect day to get this. Cheers.